In this tutorial we will be discussing about composition, camera controls, and the animation. These techniques will help you how to improve your films better. Let's start off with the camera controls first. Field of view is to zoom in and out of your shots. Focal distance is how far you want the blur to be. Aperture is to increase the amount of the blurriness. Tone map scale is to tone the entire map bright or dark. Bloom scale is to make the highlight bloom. And the other three is the ambient occlusion. If you want more of the settings of the render, right-click on the main screen. Then hit Render Settings. This window shows you the options here. Check the box of Progressive Refinement. Depth of Field is the blurriness, and Motion Blur is the blur of the motion. Subpixel Jitter is to make the blur have more jitterish. If you click on the samples, depending on how powerful your computer is, test it to see which one is best for you. Remember, the more realistic the graphics are, the better chance of high-risking lag to your computer. Ambient occlusion is an option to add more realism for your shadows. It has three modes to see what it can do. Check this box that says, Show Ambient Occlusion to see the effects. By default it's set to Ambient Occlusion only. The second one is to show outlines only. And the third is both. To change the Ambient Occlusion hit OK. Then select the camera. Then change the ambient occlusion sliders to see the shadows change. Now that we covered the basic camera control options, let's focus on composition by using the rule of thirds concept. Now what is the rule of thirds? Rule of thirds is a concept of making your shots look good and interesting as photography in films such as balancing the weight of the scene right or left. The rule is to make sure your subjects or points of interest to where the viewer is looking at. If your shot just don't look interesting, then it just looks completely bad. But this is the most useful tool to use for your camera shots and make your films look interesting. Now for a demonstration how camera shots works. The wide shot, this shot is to capture showing the backgrounds in a wide range. The long shot, this shot is to capture for filming the character walking across the screen. The medium shot, this shot is to capture the half of the body. The cowboy shot, this shot is to capture the half upper legs and the body, like you see in western films. The tight shot, this shot is to capture the head up close. The detail shot, this shot is to capture the super up close details of the character. The low shot, this shot is to capture the character as big, powerful, and heroic. The high shot, this shot is to capture the character the opposite, small, weak, or afraid. The Dutch shot, this shot is to capture angle tilted, feeling unstable or something isn't right. Over the shoulder shot, this shot is to capture the scene of third person by placing the camera on the shoulder. The point of view shot, this shot is to capture the character in first person view. The cutaway shot, this shot is to capture the random objects for some interest. The focus pull shot, this shot is to capture the depth of field. 
The handheld shot, this shot is to make the camera jitter and shake, like you would see this in action films. Now the next step is the line of action. The line of action can only film three spots, the middle, and the right and left. This is called the 180 degrees camera angle, but if you go over 180 degrees, it will look very confusing which direction they're facing or going somewhere. If you have set up three characters you can set the camera wherever you want. But don't put it behind them, if it's necessary depending on your scene. Now for the background shots. The unveiling shot, it starts of low on the ground, then works its way up at the background. The look up shot, the camera starts looking at the ground, then looks up at the background. The pull back shot, the camera backs up for more field of view. The head over shot, the camera looks at the ground and rotates while going up. The cam crane shot, the camera looks at a model while it goes up or down. The course lock shot, the camera moves while targeting the object in center. The tripod shot, the camera rotates only to make a tripod camera effect. Now for the transitions and edits. The follow, setting the camera behind the character following. The reverse follow, setting the camera in front of the character following backwards. The mini jib reveal, the camera starts off from the feet, then works its way up to the head. The side track, the camera is set on the side of the camera based on the character going left or right. The chest transition, the character walks up to the camera, and for the other shot is behind the character walking away. The soft focus reveal, the camera slowing focus towards the character, while the blur fades away. The wipe transition, this technique that Valve likes to use a lot for their films, basically making the camera cinematically sweeps in one shot. The orbit, the camera orbits around the character for its surroundings. The drone shot, the camera moves away from the character while going up. Slow motion, making the camera and the animation moves really slowly. Fast-pasted editing, this is used for a lot of action in films, by cutting up a bunch of small clips. Slow pasted editing, same as cutting the shots, but make them last long. Those are just examples of what it looks like to reference for your films. Now let's get into the animation part or recreate some techniques. A simple basic transition. Let's say I have a red soldier on this side and a blue soldier on the other side. How do I make a transition from point A to point B in one shot? Simple. Go to the clip editor and press B to cut the shot. Select shot 1. Then go to the graph editor. Make sure your camera is selected then press M to place a bookmark as a starting point. Then move the camera away from the red soldier. Next go to the clip editor and select shot 2. And go back to the graph editor. Then set your camera away from the blue soldier.
Then set the camera at the blue soldier. Now let's see the results. Very good. The next technique is the orbiting the camera around the character. How do I make that effect? Load up a helper model to place it on the head. Then drag the roots transform helper to the camera. Now to rotate it in the motion editor, go to the far right and hold down the shift key plus left mouse drag to highlight. Then hold down the shift key plus mouse will to scroll the fallouts. Drag the fallout. Then rotate the object slow or fast. The motion editor can rotate better than the graph editor, to only rotate in one direction. And that's all for today's video. Hopefully this tutorial helps you how on how to make your films look better. In the next tutorial, we will be discussing about sounds in Source Filmmaker. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more tutorials along the way. And I will see you next time.